Hi friends, it's Miss Karen. I wanna welcome you guys back to chapel today. We are gonna finish our story that we started learning last week about Joseph. So let's get our, our um, chapel started with our Good Morning God song. Can you get your hands ready? Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Excellent, friends. Good job singing. And we know God's way by looking at our Bible, right? I want you to remember that all of our stories in our Bible are true. Miss Karen's not making any of this up. This is God's word. And that I want, we learn that God always keeps his promises and that God loves us and has a plan, right? So we're gonna get out our pretend Bible. Hands, you ready? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Good job, friends. Well, we need to tell the rest of our story about our friend Joseph that we started learning last week. So I'm gonna get Joseph out. If you guys remember Joseph, Joseph was a, um, he was a shepherd and he had a lot of brothers. Remember last week we counted how many brothers Joseph had. He actually had, tw there were 12 of them. And his dad had given him a special coat. Do you remember this coat? It was the coat of many colors. And because his dad had given him his coat and he had made it for him, a lot of his brothers were really mad. Do you remember that? Make a mad face. They were really mad and they were jealous of, of Joseph. And so they really wanted to get rid of Joseph, we learned last week. And so they made up a plan. They had a plan how they were going to get rid of Joseph. And if you remember last week, they took Joseph and they threw him down the pit. Do you remember that? They went and they took off that robe and they threw him down in a pit. And one of his brothers said, we can't kill him. And so they said, uh, we, we need to do something else. And so their other plan was they sent Joseph, they sold him for some money and they sold him to a place to some people that were going to Egypt and they sent Joseph away. So Joseph had been sent away. He didn't have his dad. He didn't have his brothers. And he got sent away to another another place. And things still didn't look good for Joseph right then. Joseph had ended up in prison when somebody had told a lie about him. And we know a lie is when somebody doesn't tell the truth. And so there's Joseph right there. Joseph is in prison. And so he's there and um, he still knows that God has a plan, right? Because God always has a plan. And so Jesus, so Joseph was still, still loving God and still knowing that God was going to love him and take care of him. Well, Joseph had a special gift that I haven't told you about yet. He had a special gift that God gave him that God would help to interpret dreams. So if somebody had a dream, maybe you've had a dream at night, he would help uh, be able to tell what that dream meant. And so when uh, one day, I'm going to show you this, their king right here, the king had a dream and he actually had a dream about some cows and he did not know what this dream meant. And so one of the people remembered that Joseph, while he was in prison, that one of the guards remembered that he helped tell him what his dream was about. And so the king called for Joseph to come and he said, can you please help tell me about my dreams? So he told them about what his dream was and Joseph asked God to help him and God told him about what his dream meant. And God told Joseph that it was gonna rain in Egypt. It wasn't gonna rain, that's silly Miss Karen that it was not gonna rain in Egypt for a long, long time, that they were gonna have what they would call a famine, which means that they would not be able to have a lot of the crops grow because they didn't have the rain and so things wouldn't grow and so they would not have as much food. And so that's what the dream meant. So, so Joseph had told him that this famine was coming and that he needed to save some of the food now that he needed to take food and they needed to take their bread and they needed to start storing it up so they would have enough to eat whenever the famine would come. That sounds like a good plan, right? That was a good idea. Well, one day Joseph's brothers came to Egypt because they didn't have any food and so they needed something to eat. And so 
they came to find Joseph and Joseph had a choice. Was he gonna give his brothers food or was he not going to? Because his brothers had been really, really, really mean to him, right? They had taken his coat, they had thrown him in a pit, they had sold him to somebody he didn't have his family or didn't have his dad. But I want you to know that Joseph made the right choice. He shared his food with his brothers and he actually forgave his brothers for, for doing those mean things to him because Joseph loved God and he knew that God always had a plan for Joseph. And so he wanted to help his family uh, have food and for them to be together again. So that is our Bible story about Joseph. So we need to remember that God always has a plan. That's what it says in his book, that he has a plan and that he can work good things even when things seem to be bad for Joseph, right? So um, I want you guys to remember that God loves you and that he's always going to take care of you. Okay, if you can get your prayer hands with me. Dear God, thank you for loving us and thank you for always having a plan. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. Thank you guys for coming to chapel. Love you guys. I'll see you next week.